Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to do this effect on After Effects and Premiere Pro. So let's get started. First you want to import your original footage to After Effects. Try to film a still shot of your neighborhood or anything that you might think that would work. The first thing you need to do is to apply a 3D camera tracker to your original footage. Depending on how long your footage is, the camera tracker will either take longer tracking your footage or not. It really depends on how many frames you have. Now that the tracker is complete, try to pick three points anywhere along the original footage. Using the little target module, you're going to want to drag it through the three points to make a solid. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is right click and create a new solid and camera. As you can see, the solid maintains the same position through the whole video. Now you don't have to keep it in that same position. You can move it anywhere across your footage, and it will still maintain the same position wherever you put it. Try finding pictures of demolished buildings, debris, and anything else that you can find that will match your scene. Once you have found your pictures of debris, import them into After Effects. While selecting Track Solid, drag your image while pressing Alt onto your Track Solid layer. Feel free to move the picture around anywhere across your scene where you think it would match. Once you have found your spot, it is now time to rotoscope the debris out of the picture. For anyone who is new to After Effects, to use the pen tool, all you have to do is click around the edges of where you want to mask out. I'm going to fast forward this, so feel free to skip ahead if you want to. Once you're done placing your debris, it is now time to color correct it. The first thing you need to do is search up curves and effects and presets, and apply it to your footage. Decrease the levels by a little bit, but it really depends on how your debris looks. Once you're done playing around with the curve selection, it's now time to add levels. Try adjusting the black input and the white input to your liking. Using the curves and levels, you're really trying to make the debris match the original footage in lighting. Once you're done with the curves and levels, it's now time to feather using the mask tool. Doing this will make your mask blend in with the environment. Try also playing around with your mask opacity and mask expansion. Now that you know how to rotoscope debris, it's now time to add some foreground elements. I'll briefly skim over some of the effects I use, but it really depends on how you use the debris in your video. Now that we're done with our foreground elements, it's now time to work on our background. Try to isolate your building layers through rotoscoping. Now that we have isolated our background layer, it's now time to bring the layer just above your original footage. Now that I have taught you to rotoscope and mask, it's all up to you how you want to orient these buildings. 
All there is left to do is play around with the rotoscoping to smooth out your debris and also the background layer. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for part 2 of this tutorial, where I show how I did my color correcting and also smooth out the scene a little bit better.